particularly need is this. We need a situation where the debt starts coming down and the money grows so that we can actually meet the debt obligation and then you know, not be completely choked by it. So how do we get there? How would a solution look like? Basically, what we need is partial debt-free money creation by the US Treasury to finance high-priority social programs like education, healthcare, basic in income, whatever. We need the government to issue enough debt-free money to at least cover the legacy interest for which there is no money to repay. Okay, so this can take the form of a basic income for everybody in the country, or could be, you know, whatever social priorities we have, but this is money that would not increase the debt of the government. It will be debt-free money, similar to the, uh, we've done that in the past with the greenbacks and so on. Um, we actually done it in California with the IOUs during uh, the, um, like about 10 years ago. Anyhow, interesting stuff. Or whatever priorities. I mean, we need to figure out what are the priorities of the country and what we can finance with this money that is not, uh, does not need to come in from taxes and does not need to be borrowed. Uh, the balance sheet of the Fed really needs to be considered something that should be uh, a common. If the Federal Reserve can just create money and they can take on on their assets whatever they want, you know, maybe that's a way to finance environmental restoration. And that would basically just sit on the books of the banks and, and the Federal Reserve would create the money to do the environmental restoration we need. Cannot be done with a for-profit model. Uh, the balance sheet could help finance the US Reconstruction Finance Corporation. We actually had something like that. Uh, you know, it, basically a public bank that was uh, financing the reconstruction uh, of, of the country. You know, the, the bridges, the dams, the post offices and so on we can do the same. And the Federal Reserve could buy the bonds issued by this uh, reconstruction uh, corporation and we could rebuild this country that way. Uh, and finally, we need to direct the credit creation of the banks in the sectors that are beneficial to society. So if we leave uh, the, bank, the private banking sector with the power to create money, then there needs to be quite strict guidance as to where the credit is created so that it goes into the real economy and not for financial speculation and for the enrichment of the few. Uh, so basically, this is what it's happening now. The US Treasury is part of the public. The Federal Reserve is really a private entity with kind of a, a quasi-public functions. And then the banking sector is completely private right now. We need to move towards the solution, which means we need to nationalize the Federal Reserve and do what England did in 1947 uh, and have that being an accountable federal agency uh, that uh, operates in the interest of the collectivity and not just of the largest banks. And the banking sector needs to be a mixture of private and public.